Hey, what's happening, you guys? This is your boy, Creative D. Will, your everyday creative dad. Look, welcome to the channel, and thank you guys for tuning in. Man, I got a dope video prepared for you guys today. We're gonna be taking a look at Prime Bass that Native Instruments released about a week or two ago. Yeah, I think it's about two weeks ago. But anyway, I just got it, and I'm, yo, I think Native Instruments did their thing on this one, man. So I ain't gonna spend too long on this intro. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe bell, or nah, not subscribe bell, that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. You guys know what time it is. Let's dive in and let's get creative. All right, you guys, so welcome back. As you can see, I have an instance of Prime Bass pulled up here, man. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do a quick overview. Like I said, I'm not an expert on it. I literally just got this plug in a week ago and I've been just diving into it today. So I got an opportunity to check it out and see what I like about it. And and um, I ain't even lie, man. I think, I think Native Instruments did their thing on this one. It's a little bit different than the other Succession guitars. There you go, Mr. Prime Bass open you up right there boom all right but anyway so let's take a quick overview so you hit this little uh, question mark right here and it'll tell you what each section does so native instruments went a little bit different with this plugin which they allow you to actually combine both the melody aspect of it and it, the pattern aspect and i think that that was genius thank you native instruments that was dope because you come over here and play different notes on the keyboard but then you can press a key on the keyboard and it allows you to actually play a pattern and then switch back to the playing the notes whenever you um whenever you release that pattern button which is dope man that is awesome so boom over here you got the melody section so you can play open how you want to play it muted uh flango let Flaglet, whatever, flaglet, flagulet, anyway, that word. And then slap and pop. So, boom, come over here. Next thing, you got your pattern section. So, you can add different um, um, patterns over here. You can move them around on whichever note on the keyboard you want to add them to. And then you got the last section, this is the default mode. If you prefer playing patterns as the default, switch to default mode. So, you can come down here to playback and switch it from melody to pattern. So, let's get started. So, like I said, you guys, you guys can't see my keyboard, but I have a complete control keyboard here. And on the keyboard, it has different sections. Matter of fact, let's see if I can bring it up here so you guys can see. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, so. All right. So there's different sections on the keyboard and, and it's different colors. So the lower octaves inside the, the, um, on the keyboard from C1, I mean C1 up to C2 are the the melody mode and the pattern mode. So if I come over here and I press on So you can see that it's playing the patterns and the melody whenever I stop pressing it. Boom. I'm Which is dope, man. And I'm switching in between the patterns right here. So I'm playing open. I can come over and switch it to mute it. And I can actually switch while I'm playing. Yeah, so they like I love this this plugin, man. This is dope. Let me turn it up. For some reason, it's low. I don't know why it's always it always start low. So anyway, okay, now you can. I'm probably clipping like crazy. All right, so I have a pattern uh, started over here. What key am I in? I don't even know what key am I in. Find a key. Uh, I guess that's the key. Come over here. I'm gonna tune this sample to C. Alright, so it says it's in the C, so we're gonna see. <laughs> no pun intended. Thank you. 
rock with that so we're gonna turn this sample down a little bit so you guys can hear it i don't know if you can hear that bass all that well boom all right so let me pull up prime bass again all right so we got that tuned all right so here's the plug in right here boom now i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna just add some notes and i'm gonna show you guys what this thing can do Man, I suck at playing keys and all the other stuff. I usually drop my stuff in. I'm not a keyboardist, whatever you call it. All right, so I got that 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 played, right? Boom. Now, what makes this thing super duper dope and powerful is the fact that I can come over here and I play it. Boom, let's hit play. That is dope. Yo, it sounds like I'm freaking playing uh, actual uh, guitar. That is crazy. And I cannot play no instruments. Mm. All right, so let's add some effects. So they, they got the ability, they added, they added the ability to add like different... Uh, effects directly to um i guess the plugin chain so ooh, they got oh let's see what we got all right so let's add a scheme i don't know what that is ooh. Change the cabinet. Oh, we gonna add that back. Yeah. How do I delete? That's the thing. Clear slide. Base at the end. Go to output, bring that down, son. Hey, bring that bass up, actually, son. Yeah. Yeah. 
Man, yo, this, bro, this plugin is super duper dope. I really, really rock with it. I think Native Instruments did a very good job. Uh, let's change out the patterns here. Let's see what kind of patterns we have. So let, I'm on B, D, D. Let's go to, let's add them. Let's change them out and let's see what, what happens. <laughs> I can come over here and so let's add a different RB base. Let's see what we got. Alright, so as you can see, I can change out the different sounds here and different patterns. Let's add, let's add this one. That's dope. Can I change out the... Oh, there we go. So I can come over here and search. Boom. Let's go to... Not muted. Let's go to... Live. <laughs> yo, I swear, yo. This is dope. God, this is awesome. Let's see what it sounds like. So let's let's come over here and let's change this one out. So I hit the search button and I don't want I want funk. All 
All right, so we're gonna add that one there. Old school funk D. And let's go to Plek. And we're gonna add Plek there. And we're gonna add one more. Just, hey, y'all, I'm just messing around with this thing, yo. We got a slide. Did I change anything in here? Dude? Oh, so, oh, dang, it gives me the rhythm search right here. So, I guess if I play, type those in. So it's giving me the closest one that's similar to this. Oh, that's dope. Ooh, oof. Funky Wolf sounds dope. We're gonna use you, buddy. Man, all right, so you guys, that's just the down and dirty version of from Prime Bass, yo. As you can see, this plugin is super duper dope for individuals like myself that don't know how to play the bass guitar or people that do know how to play the bass guitar but don't have time to plug in that bass guitar and try to get all everything right and record it and everything like that. So if that's you, then this plugin might be for you. Machine, I mean, Native Instruments, you guys did awesome with it. I really, really rock with it. Hey, again, if you like this video, you made it to the end, then please hit that like, subscribe, that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and you can stay up to date. Until next time, be awesome. Be creative and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life. Deuces!